welcome everyone to the part 11 of portfolio website making so in the past few videos of our playlist we have created the entire website till this part now there is some problem with this website now uh, suppose now this website is not responsive suppose i'm minimizing the uh, width of the website you see the menu part it is coming uh, we can't see the entire menu part so we need to make this uh, website responsive so that it works perfectly in all types of uh, devices like tablets uh, laptops then uh, desktop and smartphones okay so let's dive in and do the modifications okay so in visual studio so here you see this is the menu so we i want to modify the menu so let's go to index.html and see where is our menu so it is inside the header and inside the header we have the menu class and inside it we have the menu so we will go to style.css and we are going to apply some modifications so basically when i reduce the size of the uh, page and when it is below 991 pixels so i'll just go to write at the rate media so what is the maximum width uh, if we go beyond it i'm going to apply the changes so maximum width i'm going to give as 991 pixel why because till that the laptop version will work and when we go below 991 pixel maximum width it will come it won't be it won't fit the laptop size okay so i want to apply some modifications to the uh, menu so header first of all i'll just write down header and then along with header so these modifications i'm going to apply to the header as well as the menu uh, class inside the header and the sticky class if you remember uh, in the previous parts we have created sticky if you see uh, we have already done the css of for the sticky uh, for the laptop version so if you see here is the sticky class okay so now i want to apply uh, modifications to the sticky class um, when we go beyond uh, when the size width of the page is below 991 pixel so i'm going to change the padding as 20 pixel and 50 pixel then okay then apart from that i'm going to write down header and then i'm going to apply modifications to menu class okay so here i'm going to give display as none okay so when i go beyond uh, this much width the menu will dis disappear because i want it to appear in a different way let's see so let's reduce the size you see when we will go beyond 991 pixel the menu disappears okay so again when we will increase increase the size again the menu appears okay we will uh, do some modifications to the menu class also so i'll just write down header dot menu and then i'm going to give the position as uh, fixed and then display uh, let's give background color i want the background color to be white so i'm going to give hash uh, hash it's fff i think okay it's fff for white and then I will give display as block it should come in a block then uh, top that is uh, on the top I want to leave a space of 70 pixel we can modify it later on uh, depending on our uh, view how the website looks like then left I'm going to give zero and then uh, padding I'm going to give as 100 pixel and 50 pixel okay and one more thing left width let's give it as 100 percent and height also 100 percent let's save it and refresh the browser now if i refresh it so let's reduce the size so when i bring down the size uh, you will see the modification so the background has become white but we need to apply uh, some modifications to the image part okay rest is cool so if we decrease increase the size again it comes back to the original size okay uh, let's go to index.html now you see inside the header we have the uh, ul 
so inside the U UL we have the li and inside it a so we want to modify those anchors okay so uh, in this style.css i'll write down header ul li and then a so here i want to uh, give the font size uh, let's give it 20 pixel then i want to give the color i want to make the text color as black so if you see it is green in color so i want to make it black and after that i want to give the font weight let it be uh, 400 okay you can modify according to your choice refresh it so it is coming nicely now i want this menu to be in the center so here i will just write down text align and i'm going to give it center okay then apart from that i want to add some border to the menu okay so here i want to add some border uh so when i scroll down so a border should come okay so we will have to modify the picture image but for now i am just going to add the border so i'll just write down a uh, border top i'm going to write one pixel solid and rgba inside rgba i'm going to give everything zero 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 let's make this zero next one also zero and blue also zero alpha i'm going to give it as uh, let's say 0 0.2 okay save it and then refresh it and this one also i'm going to give it 75 the top okay refresh it so now it has you see you can see the modifications okay we will do something about the image that is being uh, that we can see uh, okay okay one last thing to do uh, let's uh, make the image disappear that we can see below the menu uh, so it was 75 i think earlier so let's make it 60 pixel top 60 pixel and check we will have to play with the pixel size so you see it is reduced but we want it to be reduced further that is how big the menu you want to be okay top let's make it 50 so now it disappears completely let's try if we can give make it 53 say how it looks so if we make 53 we can still see the image let's see it with 52 we can still see the image let's make it 51 so you need to check how many pixels you need to give okay 51 seems perfect so now the image has disappeared completely okay so here we need one favcon okay on clicking that uh, the menu should appear so for that we are going to go to index.html here right after the portfolio part i'm going to that is uh, before the menu and after the portfolio text i'm going to create a class toggle name i have given as toggle okay so i'll just uh, write some css for it i'll write down dot toggle inside it i'm going to give the width as uh, say 40 pixel and height as 40 pixel again okay so here uh, i need to give the image of the uh, fabcon so clicking on which the menu will appear so for that i have already given the uh, image taken the text uh, image of this menu bar and uh, close bar here okay i have saved the image here so here i'm just going to write down background uh, image so you can collect the image from google it's available so here the name of my image is menu.png then apart from that i'm going to add a uh, background position as center okay then i'm going to give a uh, background repeat as no repeat because i don't want it to be repeated and then the background uh, size let us give um, as 30 pixel okay so uh, when i click on it i want the menu to appear so for that i'm going to go to javascript i have already made the connection here if you see inside the head so here i have already made the connection with ext.js okay this is the function which i have written for some earlier uh in for in some earlier part of the uh this playlist 
so now i'm going to create a new function uh, i'll give the name as function toggle menu inside it i'm going to create a method which will be applied uh, to a particular class in the index.html okay the method name is menu toggle i'm going to connect it with the class doc by using document.query selector and what is the name of my class let's go to index.html so i'm going to apply it to this toggle class okay so i'm just going to write down dot toggle okay give semicolon after that i'm going to uh, write menu toggle dot class list and then i'm going to call toggle and inside this i'm going to make it active okay so whenever we click on it whenever this toggle menu will be called the it will become active so here i'll just write down we need to write on click uh, equal to um we will be writing the name of the function which is uh, toggle menu okay we will call the function here few more modifications i did so this uh, semicolon i forgot to give i have given it once again and if we go to ext.js uh, it should be small a okay it was capital a so make it small a okay we have done uh, one more modification here margin i have given 10 px and 0 under header ulli just uh, save it and refresh let's see how it looks like so when we refresh it now if we bring down the size you see the fabcon is appearing
So that's our entire uh, portfolio website uh, playlist. So we have created all these things. And apart from that, we have added responsiveness also. So if you see the, if we go back, so down, down, down. So you can see the, our system, the website is responsive also. You can go to home, then click here again. You can go to testimonials. So it is working perfectly fine. So if you want to see how we have created the entire uh, website, you can check out the previous parts whose links are given in the description of the video. So if you like the video, please do like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, everyone.